right? So say... Say yes! Eva! Okay, now say no! Eva! Alright, so they're both Eva. Is it to do with the pitch? Eva! Oh, well, now we're getting somewhere. Unless you just said no. Is it to do with the length or the pitch? Va Eva! Va Eva, alright. Real quick, how do you say neither of them? Va Eva! Okay. Watch. Pokemon Black Bomb Metal. Don't worry, Eva, we'll work out a system. Eva. Oh, it's Sharon. Who's he talking to? Sharon! Hey, Sharon! I'm so sure you're gonna be the best Pokemon trainer in the world. Why not back yourself and put a bit of money down for it? And what happens when I become the best Pokemon trainer in the world? I'll give you your money back, plus 5%. Wow, for free? That sounds awesome! Whoa! Sharon, stop talking! <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that a surprise? Aiden Bladen Chats. Hi, Clay. So you're friends with this nerd? Hmm? Oh, yeah, Sharon, you can talk. I just meant stop the deal you were about to make. Don't call Aiden a nerd. Sharon, he's talking about yeah, you. Yeah, I was talking about you. What? Why do you think I'm a nerd? Just because I wear glasses? Well, no, you just know a lot about Pokemon. And you're passionate about it. Knowledge and passion on any subject makes you a nerd. It's the nasal voice, too. It doesn't help? It doesn't help, no. You know, Aiden, I sent a deck collector to your home a few months ago. But she said you weren't there. Have you been avoiding me, Aiden? Uh, uh, no. Then I suppose you have all the money. Wait, stop a sec. Sharon, plug your ears. Then I suppose you have all the money you owe me. No, I... I also don't have that. But I will! Look, I've got four gym badges, and I'm about to get my fifth! Seriously, I'll be making heaps of money soon. Plus, I just took on a second job, I'll have your money, it won't be much longer! Yeah? Yeah, I swear to God! Well, you'd better make that money fast. Wait, what's happening? You're letting me go? I got a lot I'm dealing with right now. Bigger potatoes. I'll deal with you later, Aiden Chance. Am I too obedient? Sharon! 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 Hmm? Ah, yeah? Unplug ears now? Yes. Ooh. Hey, what was all that about, Aiden? You're not in any trouble, right? Who was that guy? Ah, don't worry about it, Sharon. <laughs> I'll, I'll be... Great. How are you feeling? Are you still trying to cope with how your trainer journey's gone so far? Nope. I'm all good now. I'm trying to cope with trying to cope. Oh, gotcha. Also, the nerd thing just now really set me back. That was news to me. I'm gonna go destroy the next gym leader to take my mind off it. Oh, whoops. Uh, Envy evolved by the way, but you can't really tell. She kind of just got cooler. She didn't change, she just got cooler and that's it. No physical changes besides like style. Is this what she was envious of the whole time? Is, do all her friends already look like this? Before we go into the city, I actually want to spend a bit of time on the bridge because the bridge has these little shadows that if you stand on them, you will either fight a duck or it will give you a wing. And Envy can one-shot the duck. So I'm just walking around picking up a billion wings and one-shotting any duck that shows up, and Envy is becoming really powerful because of this. I farmed this for a bit, and I got so many wings, they apparently increase a Pokemon's stats. I don't know exactly how they work, like is it one wing per Pokemon, or is it one of each type per Pokemon, how many times can you apply them? So I just put all the wings I collected into Eva just to see what would happen. I have no idea if it even actually did anything though because i increased her base health stat like 11 or more times and it stayed at 83 hp so eh. anyway for now we're gonna put team sin on a bit of a break and get back to the main crew sorry to see you go for now lucy and greed apathy you're a little cool denial i've never used you envy is gonna stay with us for now since team win only has five pokemon to my six slots and i can use envy to level up team win on that bridge for a bit 
Of course, I end up giving Chapapup one of the wings too, and now he has a taste for it. Anyway, as far as I can tell, the wings aren't doing anything, so it's probably either only the most recent one is active, or you need like a hundred of them, or something, which I'm not gonna do. But I am gonna be leveling up Team Wind to get to this region's standards for a bit, and I will be dumping every single wing I find into Eva, in case her HP will eventually go up by a single point. Okay, I think I'm good for the next gym. Let's do this fast and get out of here. Eva, I don't want Clay to have time to catch up with me. Eva, Uh-huh. Hey, man, let me in. Oh, sorry, buddy. The gym's closed. Mmm, that's great. Great. What time does it open? It doesn't. We just got foreclosed. For, for... What? So where's the gym leader? You're looking at him. So... I suppose I'm not a gym leader anymore. Now, I'm just... Just a leader. <laughs> what happened, man? How am I supposed to get this next gym badge? Being a gym leader doesn't pay well, kid. I had to take out some loans from Clay. I couldn't repay them, and now... Now Clay owns the gym. And every gym badge in this city. They foreclosed the gym? They did! Where are you right now? Why do you have the camera off? Oh, I've been... busy. So what are we gonna do about the gym? We can't become the first and second best Pokemon trainers in the world, respectively, without getting all of the gym badges. I need that badge, Aiden. I don't know. But I know what I can do while I think about it. Eventually I get bored of the bridge and I decide to level up through Route 6 out of the city for a little while. I run into a Pokemon called the Carablast, which is just ridiculously ugly, so I catch it. I name it Replaceable, the Replaceable Beetle. I also catch this Deerling, because after it uses a takedown on Chupapup, I know it's at least got bravery and I, I need that in spades. This Pokemon is a shoe in to fill that empty sixth slot in Team Win. I think about naming it Warhorn, and then I'm kind of like, eh, this thing kind of looks like a Stuart, and I think you'd agree this looks like a Stuart. But in the end, I decide on naming it The Sludge, and I'll be honest, uh, a little indefensible. I don't really have a reason for this, but uh, welcome to Team Win, The Sludge. As always, I learn a few new type matchups as well. Learning is for life. The last Pokemon I catch along this route is called a Fungus. Uh, it's a mushroom with a Pokeball head. And I just have to catch this guy. She sucks way too much. How could I not catch it? It's a grass and poison type. Uh, that's a new type. That's interesting. Apparently, Fungus lure people in and poison them. So she's a mark for Team Sin. I name her Plague. I also find out a couple of poison type matchups in the following battles. Okay, team, assemble! Alright guys, gonna need you to work with me here. Cards on the table. I took out a massive loan from Clay about a year ago. And I was due to pay it back about four months ago. Which is when I met you, Eva! And left town. With you. If I can't get some serious cash, I'm done for. My plan was to start making big league trainer money once we got all the gym badges, but... Now that's not looking possible, so... Any thoughts? chop up, up Oh, no, you don't have thoughts. Anyone else? Von Scott! Anyone want a Pokemon battle? For cash? Anyone want to give me cash? Hey, you there. Yes, cash? Got cash? A little bit. Ever heard of a... Rotation battle. No. We battle. Both of us have three Pokemon out at the same time. You can switch between any of your three currently out Pokemon and have them use an ability all in the same turn. And your opponent won't know when you're about to switch or which Pokemon you're switching to. There's a lot of strategy involved, especially when it comes to- And you'll to give me money if I beat you at your made-up system? Yes. Lose quickly. Oh, okay, this is an interesting concept. However, it pulls out the first three Pokemon in your roster automatically. You don't get to choose it. 
and I was planning on doing some more leveling up, so two of them are actually quite low level for this. And unfortunately, during this fight, Treaty dies. Chopper Pup nearly avenges them, gets in some good damage, then nearly dies again because Chopper Pup is constantly nearly dying. Eva comes in and mops it up. Oh man, Treaty! Uh, well done. Here's your money. So, what did you think of rotation battles? Pretty cool, right? Oh, no, Want to oh invest? My god, oh my god, I'm no. planning to spread them all oh, over, no, no, establish Trini. a new norm. Treaty, we've Pokemon got to get you to a Pokemon battles. Center. Maybe there's still time. Hey, you forgot your cash. Hmm. Then why I just called attention to that? <laughs> Thanks for the investment. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, one of my Pokemon just got pretty hurt. Can you fix her? Eva. I know, Eva, don't panic. If Treaty can be helped, it'll be here. Eva. Let me take a look at her. Eva! Eva, Eva, Eva! Eva! I know, I know, I know, girl. Just hang on. What happened? It was an electric shock, but she was totally healthy before then. I think she was still breathing, just unconscious. Can you help her? I'm sorry. It's too late for her. There's nothing I can do. Oh. Well, if there's nothing the Pokemon Center can do, you know what that means. Treaty is the newest member of Team Graveyard. I'll be honest, I'm not super sad about this one. Treaty never really did much and was kind of just a second water type on Team Win. But also, at the same time, Level 24. Pretty sure she was like level 18 or something at the start of this video. That's hours gone. That's actually probably not joking 45 minutes or more that I just lost today. Oh man, that was horrible. What is it, Eva? Eva! Eva! Mama, Eva! Eva, you, you know I can't... Alright, you know what? Hang on a sec. Hmm? Fine, cool. And what? Aiden, how, how did you get my number? You gave it to me when we were stuck on the Ferris wheel for a day, and you kicked my ass in two-player phone scrabble. I still think it's not fair to use N as a word, by the way, just because it's your name. I think that's against the rules. Yeah, okay. I need you to translate Eva for me. What? You can speak to Pokemon, right? Tell me what Eva's saying. Oh, hold on, let me put her on. I... Eva! Hey, Eva. You good? Eva! Cool. What's going on? She says you need to take it. say? She says you need to take it to Bianca. Sounded important. All right. Thanks, then. Yeah, dude. It's whatever. Oh, hey. Actually, while I've got you, are you in Drew Fail City right now? Yeah. Cool. Uh, if if you want to head on to the cold storage district of the city to the south. Why? What's there? Might be your first team plasma job. You'll see when you get there. It's kind of a many hands on deck thing. So if you're in the region, you know. All right then. Time to go check out the Cold Storage District. There's actually a bit to explore here, which I do, and the levels are very much appreciated. This game is not built for trying to keep two teams roughly equal. It's, it's a lot of work every time I swap. On the plus side, heaps of information for the board. This is a win, massively so. How come this city has a whole district dedicated to cold storage? What are they storing? Yeah, it's a tax loophole, actually. There's no sales tax for free products, and that includes free Zing ones. By the way, wanna buy a free Zing laptop? It functions perfectly, we just sell it at zero degrees. I'm okay. So people just rent out space to freeze things right before they sell them? It's surprisingly lucrative. Then we also get people renting out space for normal refrigeration as a side hustle. Well, this is the place. Aiden! Guess who? Sharon! Great guess! Whoa! You're... different... to this morning? I know! Just this morning I was called a nerd, and now look at me! It's actually difficult to do that. Pretty cool, right? There's not a nerdy bone in my body. Well, there's my nasal bones, which we've established are a little bit nerdy, but that's only two bones out of 208. My skeleton is extremely chill. Well, there are 206 bones in the human body. Yeah, but I got a couple extra cervical ribs. Oh, you do? Yeah, they're right up here. That's kind of cool. It is. It lowers my nerdy bone ratio by almost a full 0.01%. That's, that's huge. Now I'm super fashionable. 
And I've been getting more and more street smart all the while. You don't want to know what the streets have been saying about you, Aiden. What have they been saying? Railway crossing. What? I saw a street sign that said railway crossing. What does that have to do with me? I'm not sure. I'll have to ask the streets and get back to you. Excuse me? Hi. If you're looking to become cooler, this refrigeration warehouse behind me is about to be available for rent once Team Plasma's finished pulling out all their stuff from it. Oh! Aiden, maybe we could no, rent- No, I'm not spending money. But actually, I've gotta go in there and help Team Plasma if you wanna come with me. I don't know. With Team Plasma? I'm not ready to do any info gathering. I took off my other jacket. Don't you want to do even a little investigating? Well, maybe. Just gonna jump in here real quick to say that the dialogue of some of these workers is implying that this ice cream looking Pokemon is an ice type, but I kind of don't believe it, okay? I mean, I've tested during this battle and it's definitely not water type, but I kind of just feel like I would know if there was an ice type in Pokemon, you know? Like, not knowing about bug type or poison type, I can believe that, right? They don't come up. But surely there's no way that they made an ice type and I just have no idea, right? That can't be possible. Especially since they kind of have the rock, paper, scissors with water, fire, grass instead of water, fire, ice. It's like, what, what would be the... Anyway, I just wanted to say that real quick. Allegedly, there's an ice type. I don't believe it. Uh, well, I guess I'll find out. What do you mean there's a rock balanced on my head? I don't see it. Have you checked from every angle? Maybe it's an optical illusion from only one or two angles. We are checking from every angle right now. There is a rock balanced on your head. Hello? Is everyone right? Hey, it's the new guy! Aiden! 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 You said you might be coming to help out. Where's your uniform, bud? Oh, it's, uh... In the wash? Didn't you get more than one? No. Weird. Well, welcome, welcome, a and your friend too. Hello, just saw you. Bit hard to look away now. I'm super cool, aren't I? Probably. It's four degrees in here. Ah, it's already working. So we're carrying stuff out? Yeah, we're just moving all of this stock out of Drifail City. Stock? And, and that's these frozen boxes? Refrigerated boxes, not frozen. Getsy says we're pulling our operations out of this city completely. All Team Plasma assets are being moved out. Well, all right. And, uh, I get paid, right? Do I get paid lots? Is it lots? You get paid, but it's not lots. We're still a not-for-profit charity, remember? Yeah, but maybe an exception can be made, and just for today, we could be, like, a not-not-for-profit, just to try it out. You, you don't even want to try it out? Stop! You know, I saw a straight sign about that, too. Fellas, come on. Is this really necessary? Our business has been great together. Sorry, Clay. Our business in your city's over. Sorry, Clay. It's not up to us. Come on. Talk to Getsus. I know we can work something out. I'll get you a meeting, but I'm telling you, he doesn't want anything to do with you or your city anymore. All right. Let's go. I'm cold. Uh, Sharon, I think you should maybe zone out for a couple of seconds. On it. <laughs> Don't think you're off the hook, Aiden. Once I get my business with Team Plasma back, my unpaid debts will have my undivided attention. You had better pray you got my money by then. Alright, maybe this is good. Sharon, remember when you stole the normal type gym badge because it was unattended? Yeah? Okay. While Clay's meeting with Getsis, I say we sneak into the gym, take a handful of badges, and split out of the city as quick as we can. Wow. Aiden, I think your skeleton might be even cooler than mine. I still have so much to learn about street smarts. I'm in. Okay, Sharon, we gotta be careful. And we might have to break a window or something to get in. Oh. Talk to me, Gestus. What's going on here? One guy gets a bit roughed up and years of business gone just like that? Just like that. Look, so my collectors made a little mistake. Who cares? We have a good thing going here. Hey, who has two thumbs and will never see a dollar from my charity again? You. <clears throat> Sorry, I heard a rumor from my friend. For forget it. Go back to the argument. This is a mistake. 
you're not gonna find a bigger cold storage than the one here in Driftvale, and I own it. I own the Driftvale gym, I own half the buildings in this city. You get more than your money's worth from our partnership. Alright, you've swayed me. Here, take this one last payment. And that's your empty hand. Well, guess who has two thumbs and isn't giving you one last payment? Me! You should trim your nails. Anyway, the point is, we're done here. Are you ready to go, Mr. Dangerfield? I am. Now if you'll excuse me, I got a couple truckloads of refrigerated boxes I have to reload- <laughs> I get no respect. Hey, nerd. That was pretty funny with the Pokeballs. Take a gym badge. Whoa, thanks! Ah, really? What? I got boxes of this stuff now with nothing to do with them. Well, have you got another one spare? Not for you. And unfortunately for you, it looks like my negotiations with Team Plasma just ended. So let's talk, Aiden. Oh no. I'll deal with you inside. And don't try to run. I'm not in a generous mood. Check it out, Aiden! New gym badge! Fantastic, Sharon. Huh, I wonder what kind of deal Clay wants to make with you. When he says he's going to deal with you, I wonder what he has in mind. Yeah. Me too. Hey, Chimney, fantastic episode. This is you again, this is you talking. Fantastic episode. Why is it called 6A though? You already know. I accidentally made most of a 50 minute video again. See you soon for 6B. Call it two weeks, random guess.